Hi friends, welcome to Wisdom is Power channel. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to click the notification bell to receive more videos like this. Thank you. Now we are going to discuss power and energy. Power is the time rate of expending or absorbing energy measured in watts. It is the product of the voltage across the element and the current through it. Mathematically, power can be expressed as P is equals to V multiplied by I, where V is the voltage and the unit is volt or simply V. I is the current and the unit is ampere or A. And P is the power expressed in watt or simply W. Sample problem here, a heater is rated 220 volts and current of two amperes. What is its power in watts? So the given R volts is equals to 200 volts. I is equals to two ampere. Then power is equals to V multiplied by I. Then you will get 200 multiplied by two amperes. Then that is 400 watts. A 30 watt incandescent lamp is connected to a 220 volt source. Determine the current through the lamp. The given R power is equals to 30 watts. Voltage is equals to 220 volts. Solve for the current. Current is equals to P divided by voltage. That is 30 watts divided by 220 volts. I is equals to 0 0.13636 amperes or simply I is equals to 136.36 milliampere. Another problem here, an electric toaster is rated at 800 watts and draws 3.6 ampere. Determine the operating voltage of the toaster. The given R power is equals to 800 watts. Current is equals to 3.6 ampere. So solving for the value of the voltage, V is equals to P divided by I. So that is 800 watts divided by 3.6 ampere, and we will get 222.22 volts. Let's study now the power and Ohm's law relationship. We all know that power is equals to V multiplied by I, and Ohm's law can also be expressed in V is equals to I times R. So substituting the value of V in Ohm's law for the V in power equation, that will become P is equals to I multiplied by R times I. So simplifying this equation, we will get P is equals to I squared times R. Another relationship for power and Ohm's law, P is equals to VI and I is equals to voltage divided by R. So substituting the Ohm's law I to the I in power equation, that will be P is equals to V multiplied by V divided by R. And simplifying again this equation, we will get P is equals to V squared over R. Having these things in mind, so there are there will be 12 possible equations when power and Ohm's law are combined. So let, let's just try to solve problems involving power and Ohm's law. An electric sports car was developed several years ago at certain university. If the voltage required to operate the car was 720 volts and the resistance was 0 0.30 ohms, how much power was needed for the car to run? The given R voltage is equals to 720 volts. R is equals to 0 0.30 ohms. So solving for the value of power, that is P is equals to V squared over R. 
that is 720 volt squared divided by 0 0.30 ohms, we will get 16.33 kilowatts. An electric dryer has a power of 4.5 kilowatts and runs on a special 220 volt household circuit. What is the resistance of the dryer in ohms? The given R power is equals to 4.5 kilowatts. V is equals to 220 volts. And solving for the value of resistance, that is equals to V squared over P. That is 220 volts squared divided by 4.5 times 10 raised to 3 watts. And we will get 10.76 ohms for the value of resistance. Another problem, what is the power rating of a home appliance in kilowatts that uses 8 ampere of current with 200 ohms resistance? The following given are current is equals to 8 ampere, resistance is equals to 200 ohms. Solving for the value of power, that is P is equals to I squared multiplied by R. That will become power is equals to 8 ampere squared multiplied by 200 ohms, and we will get power is equals to 12.8 kilowatts. Now, let's go to energy. Energy it is the capacity to do work measured in joules. Electric power utility companies measured energy in watt hours, in which one watt hour is equals to 3,600 joules, or one joule is equals to one watt second. Energy is the product of power and time. So mathematically, we can express energy is equals to power multiplied by time. Where W is energy, the unit is joules or watt hour. T is time expressed in seconds, P is the power expressed in what? So another problem involving energy, how much energy does a 100 watt electric bulb consume in two hours? So we write the given as P is equals to 100 watts, T is equals to two hours. So solving for the value of energy, that will be P multiplied by time, that is 100 watts multiplied by two hours, that is 200 watt hour for the energy. Problem number two, an electric iron is 45,000 joules of energy for 15 seconds. How much electric power does the electric iron have? The following given are energy is equals to 45,000 joules. The time is equals to 15 seconds. So we are asked to solve for the value of power. So first we convert 45,000 joules to watt second. So remember, one joule is equals to one watt second. So therefore, 45,000 joules multiplied by one watt second per one joule. So the unit of joules will be canceled and we will get 45,000 watt second. So our equation for energy is equals to P multiplied by T. And solving for the value of P, that will become energy divided by time. So substituting our values, that will become 4,000 watt second divided by 15 second. So we will cancel the units of second and the power will become 3,000 watts or simply 3 kilowatts. A stove element draws 15 amperes when connected to a 120 volt line. How long does it take to consume 30 kilojoules? The given our current is equal to 15 amperes and voltage is equal to 120 volts. The energy is equal to 30 kilojoules. That is equal to 30,000 watt second. We are asked to solve for the time and the how the 
equation for energy is equals to power times time and solving for the value of time is equals to W divided by P. So, but since we don't have the value of P, so we will solve the value of P first by multiplying the 120 volts by 15 amperes, we will get 1,800 watts. So using this value and substitute to our equation, T is equals to W divided by P, that is 30,000 watt second divided by 1,800 watts, we will get 16.67 second. Another problem, a water heater has a resistance of 5.3 ohms and takes 43.5 ampere when in operation. If it is in service on the average of two hours per day, how many kilowatt hour of energy will be expended for one month? Assume one month is equals to 30 days. So the following given are, our resistance is equals to 5.3 ohms, Current is 43.5 amperes, and the time is two hours per day. Solving for the energy, power multiplied by time. And P is equals to I squared multiplied by R. So P is equals to 43.5 amperes to be squared multiplied by 5.3 ohms. And we will get the value of power as 10,028.93 watts then we will substitute this value, this value of power to our energy equation. So that is energy is equals to 10,028.93 watts multiplied by two hours per day, multiply by the number of days, which is 30. And we will cancel the unit of 30. So our energy will become 601.74 kilowatt hour. So next problem, a certain distribution utility company charges 10.25 pesos per kilowatt hour of energy use. If 10 horsepower electric motor is utilized for two hours, how much will be the electrical bill for consuming the motor? The given hour power is equals to 10 horsepower and the time is two hours. We are asked to solve for the electric bill. The energy is equals to power multiplied by time. But we need to convert first the 10 horsepower into watts. So one horsepower is equals to 746 watts. So having this thing in mind, 10 horsepower multiplied by 746 watts per one horsepower, and we will get 7,460 watts. Then the power will, uh, the energy will become 7,460 watts multiplied by the time of two hours, we will get 14.92 kilowatt hour. So the electric bill will become 14.92 kilowatt hour multiplied by the 10.25 pesos per kilowatt hour. Then we will get 152.93 pesos for the electric bill. So that's the end of our discussion. Thank you very much. Again, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And don't forget to click the notification bell for, to receive more wisdom videos like this. Thank you.